Bust down, Mariana, bust down, Mariana. I wanna see your face beat. Spruce it up, now spruce that shit down. Contour it up, now blend that shit out. Yeah, I bust down, Tatiana. Yeah, I, I wanna see you bust down. Hey, booze, this is Nikki the One. I have the video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a updated video for the, my last video. If you haven't checked it out, look at the link down below in the description box, or you can look at my last video. I'm over here looking like Ancient Mama right now. Um, what the hell is going on? I don't know what is going on. I got a bang, y'all. Oh, she looks bad right now. Oh, she looks bad. The fuck is going on today? Perfect, yeah. I'm looking kind of off, weird, dish, all of this extra stuff. But my eyebrows are semi done. I don't know what's been going on with my eyebrows lately or what I've been doing with them, but they semi done. They all right. No okay, they all right today. But this is a continuation of my last video, and it is regarding the L'Oreal True Match. Now, before I had. The color C8, which is cocoa, and this is a cool tone. I generally I'm a I'm, I'm a warm tone. Um, I was in the store. I went to Walmart, my local Walmart, and I was so like appalled, bewildered. I was flabbergasted. <laughs> like I was so happy because they had a wide range, like period they had a wide range of colors from the lightest of the light to the darkest of the dark i had range and i had a lot to choose from but as far as for like the warm tones they didn't have that many colors in the warm tones but it's okay they had a lot more than i've seen before previously so um i ended up going with the color milk chocolate it was about eight shades in between this um so you can see the difference now, I don't think it's a big, big issue with the color that I had before. Um, it was a little bit lighter than me, but if I can get a color that is like closer to the actual match skin tone as me, I am all for it. Now, this is a neutral color. It's not warm, it's neutral, but I've never had a neutral like foundation before. Um, but this did like I had to open it because I'm not about to just be buying stuff and not matching it on my hand. Like, we're not going to do that. So, I did try to match it in the store and I thought that it was the closest to me. I think it was like two or three other colors that were like similar or, or darker than this color um, that was in the store. But this was like the closest to me you know so we're gonna see how it looks on my face and yeah so as you know before like it has to oxidize to get closest to your skin tone but look at that like i don't even have to it's just dripping okay it is came through jip y'all hoes hey hey came through jip it y'all hoes hey hey okay but that's my song uh city girls on a city uh girl code but um i don't even have to really blend it in and y'all can see that it is very very close to my skin tone so let's get to putting this on my face okay so i normally um use the blending brush i'm sorry not the the beauty blender to oh yeah like i can already tell like i don't even have to do too too much but i can already tell like this is the closest to my skin tone closer than the other one and i'm just gonna get cocoa again this is the one i had in the first video so y'all can see the difference like see <laughs> and when they together it had me thinking like girl what the hell was you thinking ordering this online like this is not you this can be like a concealer i'm definitely going to use it because i don't waste product honey not nothing that i spend my coins on nikki doesn't waste product okay so this is going to end up being my concealer this is going to be my concealer okay until it's used up all right make use of that so um it looks a little um deep because, like, the inner portions of my face is lighter than the outer portions. 
So it does look a little deep on camera, but once it oxidizes, I'm sure it's going to go exactly how it's supposed to. But in person, like, if y'all could see it in person, like, it's perfect. It's like a perfect match. And I'm going to get my neck. I'm going to get a little bit more. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going crazy. And I will be using this lighter color. As I said, I'm not about to play with y'all. In cocoa, I will be using this for my um concealer. Huh. And you see how much of a difference that is? That <laughs> Nikki, I don't know. That's my damn man out here. Putting that light stuff on me. I actually... I never want to make myself look too, too late. I want to look my own tone. Now, that's just the, the base that I'm using for my concealer because I need the coverage, okay? So, I'm using this um, Born This Way in the color Mocha. And this looks even lighter. But, like I said, I am i don't waste product. So, I'm going to use this product, uh, product until it's done and then... I will get a darker one the next time around when I buy it again. Because Nikki doesn't waste product. All right. So what I'm going to do is finish my face and then come back um, with everything done. So it won't be like too long because this is only on the foundation. We ain't doing a, a whole get ready with me. Like what the fuck? We not doing that. We not about to do that today. Okay. So I'll be back with my face be and yeah, I'll show you guys after oxidizing and everything but yeah okay hey boo so i am back um this is the finished look um let me adjust my wig like what the frick okay <laughs> so hey boo i am back this is the finished look um again if you guys are just tuning in this is a l'oreal true match um initial review slash review on uh the color that i got that matches closer to my actual skin tone but yeah so this is the finished look it looks to me it looks more so like me like it looks more so like my skin tone i love it it's oxidized it's lightweight i love it like it's full coverage also like i don't know tell me what you guys think compared to the old video uh for the uh, other color i'm going to bring the other um a video of it so we can be side by side so you can see the difference and how it looks but to me like this looks more so like me my skin tone and i love it um so if you guys um have had l'oreal true match or you know have the same shade different colors let me know what your experience has been thus far you know with l'oreal true match i've heard so many so many good things about it about it having a wide range of colors especially the expansion of the different colors for the dark skin darker skin tones but for me today with this experience i like it um and i had a good experience when i went into the actual walmart and saw all of the ranges of deep tones and light tones like i really was for it so yes um thank you guys so much for watching this video again I wouldn't be able to be on here without you guys. Thank you so much for watching me and following me and subscribing to me and liking this video and stuff like that. Thank you. <laughs> My gratitude. Gratitude. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. If you're not following me on Instagram, do that. Follow me on Instagram. I got a Facebook um, page. Every, like, all of my stuff is on Nikki's The One. Snapchat, Twitter, all of that. Nikki's The One, but I mainly be on Instagram. That's, that's my thing. I love Instagram. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.